Governor Roy Cooper is going to court this week, trying to stop Republican lawmakers from stripping his power. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland tells us why the governor claims that Republicans' actions are unconstitutional. Republicans in Raleigh ended this year's legislative session having taken significantly more power from Democratic Governor Roy Cooper. New laws give the legislature the ability to pick who sits on boards that oversee things like roads, public health, and rates you pay for electricity. The governor is suing to stop them, saying what they've done is unconstitutional. And we've already seen how that power has been used to appoint political supporters and campaign donors, and that's only going to continue. A panel of judges will hear the case this week. Cooper points to previous state Supreme Court decisions that upheld the separation of powers. I'm prepared to have you know, any decisions that they made relative to balance of powers. We're prepared to have those relitigated if necessary. This year, the legislature also took Cooper's power to appoint people to boards overseeing elections. In addition, they gave themselves the ability to choose certain judges who could oversee the cases that challenge the laws they pass. Now, our state's been hurt by desire of some to consolidate power for themselves. The way it was set up was the legislative branch would be the primary branch for setting policy for the state. Republicans also say some of these changes come in response to the governor exercising significant power through executive orders that he's issued, including during the pandemic. This power struggle will likely end up at the state Supreme Court where Republicans have a majority. In Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.